Patrick Riggins Show. Call in now, 865-243-TALK. That's 243-8255. And now your host, Patrick Riggins. Welcome to the Patrick Riggins Show. Move aside and let this show go through. Each week I am here with you. And we talk about how much better our country and life in general would be if the government would stop trying to run our lives and just let us live. That, of course, applies to the general population as well. You will be so much happier and more content if you will stop worrying about what everyone else is doing and just worry about yourself and your family. The radio station helping to bring you this show is the Lighthouse for Liberty. WNOX FM 100.3, radiating a strong and clear signal currently being heard in five states and two time zones. We are also broadcasting this show over the internet, and you can tune in there as well. The uniform resource locator for that is www.wnoxfm.com. If you bring up your web browser and type in that address you will see a box with the live video and audio stream from our exclusive in-studio webcam. That address again is wnoxfm.com. Watching that live video feed, you will also see someone to my left that looks like they're trying to herd a bunch of cats while at the same time <laughs> juggling wires and connectors. That would be our show producer, Tori, whose whole job is to fix the mistakes I make in the studio. Oh, and so, there are a lot of them. There are many, oh, many, 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 <laughs> many, 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 many. In fact, uh, I don't know how you have time to do anything else. Well, it's it's, it's a long hour. <laughs> well, I'm just joking. <laughs> and this is the last hour that you'll be working today. So. It's my favorite hour. Yes, it's it's. we wrap this up and, and Tori heads, heads home. Yep, see more way. And uh, hopefully no tickets or anything on the way. No. No, no. Anything going on uh, band-wise or? Uh, no, no, not really. Qu- uh, court jar, uh, we don't have anything booked up yet. Uh, invaders have a couple of uh, uh, party-type things going. <laughs> <laughs> Clo- close to the public, I guess. Close say to parties the and stuff like that, <laughs> weddings. So, so and... Uh, those of you who don't know, Tori's a drummer for the band Court Jar and also um, the band Invaders, which is a... Can you do us the accent for the Invaders? Uh, it's, 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 well, it's a British Invasion tribute band, so we all got to talk sort of like the Beatles. <laughs> and can they hear you when you're talking like that with the drums going, too? No, they can't hear me, but they can hear the singer. <laughs> and the singer, he comes out and he talks, but... <laughs> no. Well, and you guys can go out, if you want to hear them, you can go out and Google those two bands and uh, find Tori out there playing. And uh, um, what is it? It looks like Ted Nugent on the drums. Is that what? <laughs> Ted Nugent. I've heard Jesus Christ. I was <laughs> just looking like, that's all. That's Long hair, it. beard, that's it. <laughs> Sandals. Uh, all right. So if Tori's out there playing, and, and we'll announce it on this show, be sure and get out there and see him. Um, because... <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to, but I never have yet. <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to have had an autograph session at the last, at the well, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And there were a lot of disappointed fans because you weren't there. I mean, there was a line. It was stretched halfway down Kingston Pike, mm-hmm. and they were just all cheering Patrick. I think they were saying Posey. <laughs> See, they thought David Posey was going to be there, and everybody lined up for that. And Then if I'd shown up, there'd have been a little bit of a riot. Yeah, Dave, Dave's on his way home listening to his car going, thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's Good going, plug, thank you. Yeah, exactly. He's saying, you know, <laughs> I'm going to start showing up at Tory's things if there's people wanting uh, autographs from him. <laughs> All right, thanks again for tuning in this week to everyone out there. You are listening to the radio show devoted to ridding your life of that pesky and overbearing malfunctioning machine known as government. Not that government, all government is bad. Unfortunately, it is a necessary evil. But what we have today is not a small little thorn in your side, but a huge elephant sitting on your chest. And like a gigantic pachyderm would do in that position, it is slowly suffocating your liberty and freedom. Seemingly appears that a lot of Americans are perfectly content to allow this to happen. Luckily, people like you and other listeners to this radio show are, well, really getting fed up 
and want to make some changes. Yes, exactly, Tori. Can't take it no more. They are tired of listening to the excuses of people in Washington who benefit from this colossus known as government. They are starting to wake up and deciding the status quo is no longer acceptable. A familiar quote uh, attributed to Japanese Admiral, Admiral Yamamoto after the attack on Pearl Harbor, although nothing has been ever been found to officially link it to him, I think it is fitting to the situation we have now in this country. And that is, quote, I fear all we have done is awaken a sleeping giant and fill him with a terrible resolve, unquote. That, this is what I'm trying to do with this radio show. Fill you with a resolve to stop all the government intrusion that is happening around us every day. One of the ways I mentioned last week during the show is to keep a real close eye on your representatives in Congress. After that, I, I received a couple of emails and some people had talked to me saying that most people don't have time to do that. They are working, going to ball games, you know, watching their kids play. They, they just don't have the extra time in the day to allow it to to follow up on their people in Congress or even their local representatives. This is what these people are counting on. An electorate that is not paying attention to what is happening because they know getting something passed is the easy part. Trying to get it overturned afterwards is almost next to impossible. Unless it's something really egregious, most people are not going to bother trying to correct bad legislation. My advice to this problem is to get together with a bunch of like-minded friends, and each of you take a piece of legislation that your representative is working on. Have a weekly meeting at your favorite restaurant, and each person go over their particular bill, how it is faring in Congress, and recommended action concerning it. In this way, no one person is having to waste all their time, and I would not call it a waste, but, but everyone in the group stays informed by someone they can trust, not the news media or a spokesperson that has their own agenda. By you staying informed, you can talk intelligently to your other friends, coworkers, people you happen to meet, and thus maybe influence them with hard facts and good information. I am sure you also find your little group growing more and more each week as people become interested in what you're doing. And the more people you have, the more you can watch and be informed about what your representatives, both nationwide and local are doing we're coming up on the first break in the show already though stay tuned through this pause in the action here on the patrick reagan show when we come back we'll have even more to talk about more excitement more information more fun and more tory yay, yay. we'll see you after this break